Love and greetings to you. I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and this channel is all about marriage. We don't do anything else. I'm not a psychologist. I used to be a divorce mediator, and in 2001, a couple asked me to help them save their marriage, utilizing my skills in communication, and I did a deep dive into marriage and discovered, wow, communication has almost nothing to do with marriage. And even this idea of criticism and complaining, this ties in to what kills marriages. But what is marriage all about is so important. And this topic, by the way, I'm going to read it here, is why is it that everything I do is criticized by my husband? The answer is very simple. It's because he's frustrated and he takes it out on you because you're the person closest to him. So that's the simplest, most concise answer. What good does that do you? What you really want to know is how do I handle this? It's breaking my heart. It's frustrating me. It's tearing me to pieces. And what can I do to stop him? Well, I'm not going to tell you what to do to stop him. It may just be his nature to be critical. I am going to give you a little technique, one that is in my course for women. But before I do that, I want to talk to you more about what marriage is because we don't understand marriage and we have a, a divorce rate that is over 50%. And I can tell you unhappy marriages are plentiful, probably around 90%, and I'm going to tell you it doesn't have to be the case. So if you learn to drive before you even got into a car to get behind a steering wheel, you learned all about cars, you learned all about traffic, you learned all about conditions of the road. When you wanted to get married, it was just because that's what you do. So we didn't learn how to get married unless you count watching sitcoms or movies as the educational resource for marriage doesn't count. We get married because we want to be happy. We found our soulmate. We, want, we know intuitively, not intellectually, intuitively that this is the person we're to be with if we want our happiness and then we blow it from there. And what happens is we fall into the trap of what I call over familiarity. We get used to being together. And instead of falling back into our heart's love for one another on a constant basis and using that willpower we have to intentionally do so, we slip into how we interact with other people. This is because there is a drive to survive in our physiology. Our bodies are all about self-preservation. It tells the mind because you're not telling the mind what to do. And so it tells the mind no, be careful. This is, watch out for this. Put up your walls. Be defensive. Be argumentative. Be critical. You and he alike. This is the condition of human nature. Until we realize that we are not the mind, that we are the soul. We don't have a soul. You are the soul. What you have is a body and a mind, and they get in the way. So, number one, is you have to, by the way, subscribe now, please just hit that button, take a second, and then you could like the video now or later. It's going to help you. So I'm going to give you an amazing technique. But we have to realize that we got married for happiness and love. And so we have to always infuse into our marriage happiness and love, regardless of what our husband is doing at the moment. Now, when he's being critical of you, I'm going to give you a technique. I learned this from an old psychologist friend, uh, Israeli guy, and it's called the bowling ball feather technique. So you have to visualize a bowling ball and a feather. You're the feather. The bowling ball is the expressions of criticism, the expressions of putting you down, any expression coming 
from your husband or for, from anyone else for that matter is a bowling ball when it's mean-spirited. Now, if it's beautiful, you can become a net and catch it. But when you're being faced with a bowling ball coming at you and you're a feather, what happens as that bowling ball comes close to you? It just pushes you away. You're not impacted. And that is what you utilize your free will to do, to not be impacted. I won't take this on. It's his problem that he's feeling upset, frustrated, or whatever is causing him to behave in a way that is not marriage friendly. Now, on the other side, you need to become marriage friendly yourself. For that, please go to the videos that we have here, learn about marriage, go to our website, see all that we have to offer, and learn the art and science of marriage, and you will have an amazing marriage. Again, please subscribe if you haven't, like the video, leave a comment. I'm Paul Friedman, love and greetings. God bless you and take care.